You saw Suharto fold over to Chino Ream with Ace King. With Ace King and less than 10 big blinds left, I think it's time for Chino Ream to hidey ho. Indeed, a move all in for the pro Chino Ream. Dimitoff folds to Peter Eastgate now. Ace Queen. A call. And a call to put Chino Ream at risk. Show me Ace Queen. I have Ace Queen. Chino happy to see that he has Eastgate dominated. And Chino's professional colleagues are also happy to see that. Chino trying for a small double up here to almost 8 million chips. Peter Eastgate, the second biggest stack with support from his cheering section, trying to knock off Chino Reem. Eastgate looks matter-of-fact about the proceedings. That's why they call him Icegate. The flop is Queen 5-7. Eastgate pairs his Queen. Chino in trouble. Chino Reem still standing, but he looks like a fallen man at the moment. Indeed, Reem looking for help on the turn or the river. Turn oh card God. nine of diamonds, that is no help. Peter Eastgate poised to knock out the only established pro at the final table. Chino has squiggled off the hook time and again at this main event. He has to have a king and a king only, or his championship dream is over. River card is a four of hearts, and that's going to do it. Peter Eastgate wins the pot and knocks off Chino Ream in seventh place. Alon Schwartz with 10-6 into the muck. Paging Alon Schwartz to the main event final table. Alon Schwartz to the main event final table. Dimidoff with king seven of spades. In the small blind. And the blinds are up to 300, 600,000. Dimidoff will limp in with that suited king. In the big blind now, Eastgate. Trey Deuce, and he will check his option. So Eastgate and Dimidoff. To the flop, it's seven, Trey, six, top pair for Demidoff. Eastgate picks up bottom pair. Demidoff checks. Eastgate, 22 years old, trying to become the youngest main event champion ever. Playing in his first U.S. tournament, bets 850,000. Demidoff told us he wanted to stay away from Eastgate. He can't read him well. Demidoff just calls.
turn card now is a king. King's up now for Demidoff. Demidoff now a 19 to 1 favorite. And they both check it to the river. River card. Oh, is another tray. Trip trays for Eastgate gives him the check mark. Eastgate got a free look at the river and it should pay off. Demidoff, first to act with King's up. He bets about half the pot. Demidoff thinks the water is safe, but all of a sudden it's pretty shark infested. Eastgate now thinking about what kind of bet he can put out that will get a call. Five and a half million? Eastgate doesn't talk much, but his chips never shut up. Demidoff now trying to get a read on the 22-year-old. And at this stage of the championship, every bet, every decision so magnified. Eastgate and Demidoff have played a lot together at this main event, but Eastgate is one tricky character. Demidoff at a critical moment against a strong opponent. And he lays down Kings up. Great fold from the 27-year-old Russian. Cards are in the air. We're about to crown a world champion on the Milwaukee's best light pocket cam. Yvonne looks down at ace nine. Both of them have had the chip lead at this final table. Eastgate right now with the advantage on Demidoff. And for the first time in World Series history, they have a one million chip big blind. That could create huge swings. Demidoff raised it to two million. Eastgate with seven four of diamonds makes the call. Demidoff said he wanted to stay away from Eastgate. He can't stay away from him any longer. Flop is 10 King 7. Eastgate with a pair of sevens and a flush draw. Demidoff missed that flop. Eastgate checks. Demidoff checks back. Neither takes a stab. Turn card. Jack of Diamonds. Eastgate gets the check mark, turning a flush. Demidoff picks up a useless double gut shot straight draw. Eastgate told us a top three finish would be amazing. Top two would be unbelievable. He didn't describe what winning $9 million in the world title at the age of 22 would feel like. He does bet two and a half million with his made flush. Demidoff now. Just a double gutter. Eight. He's going to make it eight million to play. Demidoff raises drawing dead. He has been the hottest player on the planet, but if anyone can cool him off, it would be Icegate. As we've seen, these are two excellent players who are very willing to put their chips to work. Anytime a big bet is made, the room is buzzing. You know, if Teller ever retires, it could be Penn and Eastgate. <laughs> Eastgate just with a call.
River guard now. Eastgate has the check mark with the flush. Trey of spades. That misses Demidoff, and that may save him a lot of chips. Eastgate first to act, and now he checks. Eastgate is one cool customer. He'll see if Demidoff wants to fire at it again. 12. 12 million. Oh. And it's the call from Eastgate. And he will take this huge pot from Demidoff with that diamond flush. And that opens up a big gap between these two players as Eastgate steps closer to poker history. Eastgate looks at ace five off suit. He limps in for a half a million. Well, one way or the other, we are going to have our third foreign born main event champion in four years. With four deuce of hearts, Demidoff checks the big blind. The flop is deuce king Trey. Demidoff with a pair of deuces. Eastgate picked up a wheel draw. Demidoff, first to act. He checks. Eastgate says he's studied ESPN tapes on his opponents. It is amazing how much you can learn just listening to me talk. Eastgate with ace high in his draw. Bets one and a quarter million. Demidoff with a small pair. Any pair and heads up on the flop, chances are you're ahead, and Devidoff is ahead. He makes the call. Turn card now is a four, and what a card for Eastgate, hitting his straight, and that's a disaster for Devidoff because he caught two pair. Yeah, that might be the prettiest card Peter Eastgate ever will see, and it is an ugly two pair for Ivan Devidoff. That turn card could be a $9 million card for Eastgate. Devidoff checked his fours and deuces. Eastgate with the made wheel bets two million. Eastgate is inching toward Phil Halmuth and history. Six. And six. Demidoff will raise to six million. Demidoff now has committed half of his chips into this pot. And a wave of nervous energy courses through this theater. Eastgate just flat calls.
Yeah, the smooth call from the 22-year-old on the brink of becoming the youngest main event champion ever. Demidoff is committed here. He'll have to get lucky and hit his full house on the river. And here is the river card. It is a seven. Eastgate earns the check mark with that straight. Demidoff left with just two pair. And Eastgate's got to figure his wheel is good. Demidoff first to act. I'm all in. I call. All in, and it ends the call. And this is the moment. 22 year old Peter Eastgate steps into poker history. Eastgate is our 2008 main event champion. 